Uh, just before we came on air, I spoke to Ray Barry from Wolverhampton, who represents Real Fathers for Justice. Um, as we've heard, I discussed uh, with Ray this issue that a lot of listeners raising, saying that this new situation is unfair to men, as in most cases, it's men who are the people who pay child maintenance. So I asked Ray Barry if he thought it was unfair. So I think we've got to be balanced about this. We are talking here about um, parents who can't agree arrangements between themselves and I think everybody would agree that it's better to keep the state out of these things and if parents can come to an agreement between themselves um, as to uh, how much to pay and 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 uh, what, you know and um, perhaps uh, it, it, there might be uh, payments in kind as well you know clothes being provided etc. Those kind of arrangements between parents are much the best. Um, um, but I, I do think there's a there's a case for saying that when parents don't agree, you know, why should the taxpayer fund um, uh, the, the arrangements for making those payments? So, in principle, I, I don't see an objection to saying that parents should be making a contribution towards the administrative costs for the um, child maintenance service to administer this uh, th- this scheme. So the, I- the idea of it then, of parents, look, you know, the, the state saying if you can't crack your heads together and, and come up with some sort of compromise between you, then we as the state will sort it, but you're going to have to pay for us sorting it. You think, you think that's reasonable? It puts a bit of pressure on, on uh, mum and dad if they've split up to, to come to an amicable agreement that doesn't involve the CMS. I, I think so. As, as, a, as a general principle, I think that's sound. Um, what I think is is unfair in the, in the in the implementation of this is that the vast majority of the burden, the vast majority of the, the administrative cost, falls on one of the parents. I, th- I think it should be shared equally between the two of them. If the two of them don't reach agreement, then the two of them should equally share the cost of the administration. But the um, way this is going to work is that it's the paying parent who shoulders the uh, the, the vast majority of the cost that has to be paid. And I think that's just um, uh, uh, quite unfair. What, what uh, I and, and we, sorry, Ray, I was going to say, we know as well, sadly, that some splits are not amicable, um, and in those circumstances and where there isn't a financial agreement, I don't think it's beyond uh, going too far to suggest that in some cases the, the person who might be looking to receive the child maintenance might even use as a tactic the threat that not only will you have to pay cash to me, but you'll also then have to lose another 20% on top um, through the child maintenance service. You know, th- this could be a, a tactic used by a disgruntled partner to to make their other half pay for the split-up. That, that's exactly what I fear, Adrian. Um, and uh, it, it could kind of fall into one, or, one of two categories. One, it could just be vindictiveness. It could just be, you know, as a way of getting my own back on you, I'm going to make you fork out a quite unnecessary administrative cost to the child maintenance service. Or the other, it could be some kind of uh, um, almost unpleasant underhand deal that's going on here where where, where, um, the receiving parent is saying, look, um, I I want 10%, um, uh, uh, you know, I want an extra amount. I want you to pay me more than you're obliged to pay me. and um, but but it's an amount that's less than the twenty percent you would pay, so it can be used as a kind of blackmail. You know, pay me more than you than you're obliged to pay me. Otherwise, I'm going to dump you with this um, uh, heavy administrative cost. And the only way you can avoid that is by giving me as a as a backhander more money than you're obliged to pay me. Um, neither of those scenarios are particularly attractive ones. Um, you know, the kind of um, uh, uh, underhand pressure of one parent on another, um, either through vindictiveness or for financial gain for themselves. There you go. That's Ray Barry from Wolverhampton from Real Fathers for Justice.